this founder accidentally built a thriving AI SaaS product. Before I dive into it, I wanna say that if you're looking to build your own micro SaaS, I have a step-by-step -step academy on how to do so. It's gonna show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro SaaS product. It is eight plus hours of video and $500 worth of bonuses taught all by me. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Or if you just want some free SaaS ideas, I also have a link in the description below as well. The SaaS product and story we'll be exploring today is called Job Buddy. It's an AI powered job applications platform letting you supercharge your job search with AI. Whether that's from tailored cover letters, optimized resumes, or helping you AC interview, this product has over 10,000 users, and the product has gotten all of these users completely by word of mouth. In terms of revenue generation, they have a free plan, and it goes up from $4.99 to $24.99 per month, so it's gonna be recurring revenue here. It was founded by Josh, and the reason why it was accidentally successful was that he built this tool posted it on Reddit, and then left it for six months, hadn't checked anything at all. But when he came back and just took a random look at the database, he had discovered he had 700 plus users. So then he realized his product had actually resonated with customers. And he had done all of this with really just one Reddit post. So he figured there was much more opportunity. Josh then realized he had to move fast and build something really valuable. And he wanted to make a tool that people would actually pay for. So he took it much more seriously. He began adding paid features, a more advanced AI, and introducing paid plans that were set up on a monthly reoccurring basis. And then suddenly he started to see people actually converting from the free plan to the paid versions. In terms of where the inspiration came from, it was from watching one of his friends write cover letters. It was taking hours and hours to write these cover letters. And at the end of the day, his friend was getting no responses and he figured there must be a better way. And he realized AI was a perfect fit for this as it enabled really personalized and custom tailored cover letters with way less work. So he went and turned that idea into reality. And at the beginning of it, a lot of it was just trying to get the AI, it was mainly ChatGPT 3.5 at that point, to turn out consistently good cover letters. As sometimes it would turn out really well produced ones, and then other times it would be really poorly produced ones that couldn't be sent to a hiring team. And after building this, Josh caught, caught up with several other products after he posted this. So there are no marketing updates, no product pushes, nothing like that. But as mentioned, when he went to check the database again, he was shocked to see those 700 users. And although he had generated some users with a free plan, any AI tool does cost money for the owner to run as you have to go and send those requests typically to an AI model such as ChatGPT or Claude, and those cost money per request. And originally, Josh wasn't super inclined to have a paid plan here. He even tried a monetization strategy where you just say, buy me a coffee for $5 on the website. And he made a whopping $5 from that. And so he did make the decision to actually go and build those premium features. In terms of the performance of JobBuddy today, it's currently sitting at $800 a month in recurring revenue. It has 10,000 plus users and it's continuing to grow. And in terms of the paid subscriber count, it's 150 plus. In terms of future growth for the product, Joss is looking at using a new tier powered by ChatGPT's latest reasoning model, which is the 01 preview, looking at more improved resume generation and templates with more customization options. Additionally, doing a complete UI overhaul to help make the product more usable and friendly overall. In terms of lessons learned along the way, the first one is don't undersell yourself. Josh now realizes he should have monetized right away as if you're solving a real problem, people will pay for it, period. Additionally, listen to a user as he's wasted weeks on building features nobody wanted and your users are going to tell you what you need and what you're missing from your product if you're smart enough to listen. Lastly, it's keep it simple. Focus solving on that core pain point and save all those extra features such as a dark mode for version 2.0 of the product. So this concludes the video here on how this SaaS founder accidentally built a thriving AI SaaS product. I'll leave a link in the description below for the original source to this article. And if you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.